about CASA, Southern Connecticut. Got Josiah Brown. I guess we're getting his still photo today. Oh no, we got him in person. Hey, we see Josiah around town. And Dwayne, what's your and Dwayne Jackson? We got you today. Great to have you both on, guys. The court appointed special advocates or CASA volunteers are that they're volunteers, and we work collaboratively with professionals, including the caseworkers from DCF, attorneys for the child, for the parents, and a range of other professionals, teachers, uh, medical professionals, therapists, and so on, and often help connect children and their families to libraries, after school programs, summer programs, uh, health services, so any range of things. So. Uh, part of the role is to be uh, forming this one-on-one -on -one relationship with a child or with a sometimes a set of siblings, as in Dwayne's case, uh, so that you can be a consistent, steady presence in the child's life, uh, visit at least once a month and often more than that, and then keep the, uh, the other professionals involved, informed of what you're doing, because no one can be everywhere all the time, and these professionals do have heavy caseloads. And then, as Wayne was saying, periodically, when there are court hearings, to make uh, observations and, as appropriate, recommendations to the judge about what's in the best interest of the child. And I should say that uh, that the expanded CASA work in Connecticut is as a result of a 2016 state law that uh, makes uh, our state one of 49 around the country with these kinds of CASA initiatives, and uh, it's a program that's proven. It goes back over four decades. Which is, this, which is the fifth, one of the 50 states that doesn't have Oh, the it. only exception is North Dakota, and that's because North Dakota has- uh, Doesn't have any children. It has paid people in these kinds of, oh. their, their law just doesn't accommodate it, but, uh, but that's obviously the exception. So this is a, a model that, you know, has been tested over the years, refined, and, uh, Wayne is, is one of many really dedicated volunteers uh, taking the time and uh, devoting their uh, commitment and conscientious fact-finding relationship building with children. And there's a, a careful screening process as well as training, as you can imagine. Uh, and it's, it's really inspiring to come across all these uh, adults ranging from their 20s to their 70s so far from all walks of life who take the time to, uh, to advocate for kids and work with the professionals involved in their cases. And I should say that the CASA network uh, was endorsed uh, just last Thanksgiving by Nicholas Kristof in his annual uh, holiday giving uh, column. We're hoping that will help raise awareness here in, in the New Haven area and around the state for uh, ways that folks can get involved as volunteers or if they're able to support us financially, that's great. Spread the word through social media. Uh, this, this approach is really an efficient one. It relies on one staff for 30 volunteers like Dwayne serving on average up to 75 children. So uh, as we continue growing, we'll have more capacity to serve more kids initially in the New Haven region and eventually beyond. All right. So we're talking about uh, court appointed special advocates. Every state but North Dakota's got them. We're glad to have them in Connecticut, and you can help them have these adults, volunteers like Joanne Jackson, in the lives of young people who could use a little extra attention.